What's up, Anartax? Welcome back to the channel. Today, as you can tell, we are back in my Crafting with Catherine world. It has been so long. I'm so excited. Now, you might be wondering uh, why I am wearing a bathing suit with some swimmy floaties. Well, that's because today's video is themed all around the Little Mermaid. We're gonna make Ariel's aquarium, a sea shop, and a mermaid grotto. I'm so excited. I wanna be a mermaid. Now, before we get started in today's video, since it has been a little bit of time since I've posted in this world, I figured I would give those of you who are new a quick tour of the place. So if you're unfamiliar with this series, this is Crafting with Catherine season two. Basically, everything that we build in this world is kind of fantasy and Disney themed. So my house right here, inspired by the Disney castle, but obviously has my own twist on it. We have a village full of different themed shops. So we have Snow White's apple pie shop. Over here, we have Cinderella's shoe store and boutique. Behind there, we have Belle's library. There's a little mining gem store for the seven dwarfs. Back here, we have a door shop from Monsters Incorporated where, you guessed it, we sell doors. Over here, we have Wreck-It Ralph's candy shop and arcade. We have an Arendelle ice rink from Frozen. These three shops are all themed after the movie Tangled. And so are these builds over here. Behind Belle's castle, we have the Tangled Tower. And we also have the entire Tangled Kingdom. Ta-da! I love this spot, it's so cute. Over here, we have the Toy Barn from Toy Story. This is Snow White's house where she lives with the seven dwarves. This is our fantasy Jack and the Beanstalk build with the art museum on top. This whole section over here is the Wreck-It Ralph racetrack. Over by the snow, we have the Frozen Castle. Down here, we have Sleeping Beauty's bed and breakfast. And then across the way by these spooky trees, we have the start of our villain island. So that's Maleficent's build, and that one's for Corella de Vil. I think that's pretty much everything that we've built so far. If you've missed the series and are excited to see more episodes, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up and keep a lookout for my live streams because I'm gonna be streaming some more in this world too. There's a lot of work I wanna do in this village area because let's be honest, we're really lacking some landscaping. Well, anyway, now that I've caught you up with everything that we have in this world, so far, it's time to go to the art museum. In every episode of Crafting with Catherine, I take fan art that you guys send me to my fan art email, which is listed in the description box below, and we add it up there to the art museum. Hello, Mama Minecraft. Hello, Bailey. Oh, I've missed this little bug. You're so cute. All right, let's go to the museum. So this week we have artwork from Vanessa, Atasha, Crystals, Blue, Lyrie, Raven, Kayla, and Carvert. Look how cute these are. And you guys are even starting to draw my new profile picture. And look at this one. We have all of my pets. <gasps> we have to check out my pets. Oh, I really hope they're not dead. Are my owls still alive? Hello? There are no owls in here. Oh, this is not a good sign. Are my bugs still here? You're alive. Hello, Blue. Hello, Berry. My sheep are still here. What's up, cotton candy? Hi, Milk. My deer is still here, but uh, they've changed colors again. For those of you that don't know, I've been having a problem with some of the animals. The deer and the frogs like to change colors all the time. It's very weird. I don't know why. But in here, we've got Cloudy and Bambi. <gasps> and I see my frog is jumping around. <gasps> Sir Frogington and Hops. Hi, bud. Oh, I'm so happy that they're not dead. That would have been really sad. The owls are not here, though. Oh my gosh, do I still have Christmas decor? <gasps> There's, oh, oh. <sighs> We're not going inside my house today. I clearly need to get rid of my decorations. Uh, but anyway, let's get into today's episode. So like I said, we're doing Little Mermaid stuff today. And if we fly over here, I was thinking that we could probably build her stuff around this area where all of this water is. I'm just gonna have to dig a giant hole in the ocean. But that's fine. We've got world at it. We're good. I'm gonna fly around and pick out a spot, probably terraform a little bit, and then we're gonna go into speed build mode.
So I may have gotten a little carried away and I'm not even done building stuff yet. Before I show you what I've done so far though, it's time to turn into a mermaid. Uh, I'm a mermaid. Look at my fin. Look at it. It's purple. Well, now that I'm a mermaid, I can officially show you what I've built so far. Just so you guys know where we are, uh, this is the rock mountain thing that I made that is surrounding the Tangle Tower. So now if you go around this, it leads you to this rocky coral seagrass area. And if I just go along here, this rock has a perfect view of the mermaid aquarium. Oh, also, yes, I did decorate the uh, entire backside of the mountain behind me to make it feel more mermaidy. But enough about the background. Are you ready to see the aquarium? Ta-da! Is this not the most magical mermaidy building you've ever seen in your entire life? I cannot even. Let me swim over to this rock real quick. Look at how beautiful this is. Did I spend three hours off camera detailing this build? Yes. Yes, I did. But was it worth it? Also, yes. I think this is one of the best builds in this world so far. Granted, I do like all the previous builds that I've done, but I've never made a mermaid aquarium palace before, and I just think it looks so pretty. So this is what the outside of our little mermaid-inspired aquarium palace looks like. We have a bunch of these cute little mermaid rocks with seagrass growing off of them. And now I didn't even show you the coolest part. You're probably wondering how we actually get to the inside of this build. Well, this is a, this is a section that we still have to decorate i want it to look very much like this wall of coral that you see here but if we go back over this way where we first started off i actually need to drink a night vision potion real quick just so we could actually see underwater but let's take a look at what i did under the sea did you get it did you, did you get did you get that did you catch that under the sea okay i'm done we go down right over here we have all of this that I dug out to be a mermaid grotto. We have all of these cool paths leading in different directions. And if you notice, we have little air pockets so we can actually like go in here and breathe and stuff, even though I'm a mermaid now. So I can breathe underwater, but you know, I just thought it was cool. You could go down this way and that brings you all the way back around. So you kind of do a little loop-de-loop. -loop. Now, basically, if you want to get to the inside of the aquarium, you just got to keep swimming and you go up through this way. While we're in here, I'll show you what this inside looks like. It's pretty basic. It's very empty. It's going to be filled with water and like ocean stuff. But after I show you the inside of this place, I need to show you the coolest thing that I found. Literally found it by accident. Was not planning for this to happen. Did not know that it even existed in my world, but it does and it's so cool. But first of all, this is the main room. And then as we go this way, this is like a second room, kind of smaller than this one, but this one will also be filled all the way up with water. Over here, we have a cute little kind of like a bridge connecting the two, but this side of the build where all the water is gonna be is the aquarium with like sea life and fish and stuff. But over here, this is gonna be the sea shop. But okay, now that you've seen the inside of the aquarium, let's go back down in the water because I need to show you the cool thing that I found. So as I was digging this out, do you see that? Do you see this right here? This is literally an entire dungeon, like an entire underground dungeon. Just take a look at how massive this is. There's like a room here, a room here. It goes up you can go around this way. It's like, oh look, another chest. It's literally never ending. It's just, it's just tons of rooms with loot. I wish I was recording when I found this because I was literally so excited. I was freaking out. I just feel like this goes perfectly with the underwater mermaid grotto thing that I'm going for. But now to make this dungeon feel more like it fits into the mermaid vibe, I want to replace all the stone in here with the blocks that I used for the aquarium build. Oh, I need some milk. It is so bright outside. Much better. Okay, well now that I've shown you everything that I've done so far and the cool thing that I found, it's time to finish decorating. Oh wait, I just saw something that, oh my God, wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> There's something I wanted to mention. I just saw it and it just reminded me. Guys, for some reason, these snails spawn everywhere they're like all over my build hello buddy i love you you're so beautiful but look there's literally one right over here hello bud but yeah anyway i just thought that it was really cute that there were snails randomly spawning everywhere maybe we could have a snail section in this build if you guys want to give me some name suggestions for snails down in the comments all right guys, so the underwater mermaid grotto is now done. It's been fully decorated with coral and lots of plants. Before, it was just full of rocks and sand. But now, 
It's a beautiful underwater area. Look at all the color that's in here. Also, hello fish. Where did you come from? <gasps> There's another one over there. <gasps> Who are you? Oh, this little fish is so cute. Where'd you go? Hello. Ah, oh, look at him. Okay, hold up. I'm getting distracted. Typical mermaid things, getting distracted by fish, you know. But okay, if we swim over this way, this is a pretty good shot of what everything looks like. I made a bunch of coral structures. I even have these little coral plants. We have tons of algae everywhere. And look at this. Do you remember the little air pocket rooms I talked about before? So if we swim around here to one of those areas, we have little bubble effects. Now if we swim down here into this air pocket, we have some more bubble effects. And you'll notice that I changed the blocks a bit. So now in this dungeon area, we have the same color palette as the aquarium. I decided to keep the mossy stone though there just because I felt like it made sense. But now everything just looks really cute. Well, now that you've seen the colorful mermaid grotto, it's time to go fill out the aquarium. All right guys, the tank has been filled with water and I added a bunch of grass and stuff. Now let's just quickly drink our potion again so we can actually see. And now we can spawn in some fish. Oh no. Why are they dying? Um, I may have spawned in too many fish and now they are dying. Aha, I fixed it. So apparently they just needed some air above the water so that they don't, you know, get their face stuck in the ceiling. So anyway, this is the first room. And then if you swim on through here, this is the second area. Since I did a lot of goldfish and clownfish in here, over on this side, I want to spawn in a bunch of the rainbow fish. Hopefully, please don't die. Please don't die. Are you good? So far, so good. No deaths yet. Look how cute that is. Okay, well now that we have a bunch of fish spawned in, there's actually a spot that I have not shown you yet. We actually have another room that I decided I want to fill up with jellyfish. Oh, look at my little jelly friends. I wish they would swim further down. I don't know why they go up so high. But okay, we've got a lot of fish in our aquarium, so now let's work on the sea shop. As you can see from my chest, I already went ahead and picked out some stuff to sell. So I'm thinking we can go ahead and set up a checkout counter right over here. We could have two registers. And then I wanna use these counters to display the items that we're gonna sell. Along the front and back, we can have some of these display podiums. And now we can go ahead and add some items to sell. So starting with the fish tanks, let's put all four on the table like this. And then we can mirror that over on this side. Look at how cute that is. In front of the fish tanks, we can display some plushies. So we have a squid, a tropical fish, a codfish, and a big puffer fish. On this side, we can have a turtle plushie, a guardian, a dolphin plushie, and a baby puffer fish. Now on these floating podiums in the front, I was thinking that we can display the magical shells that we have. So we can put these enchanted ones in the front. Then we can display some snail shells. And we have some of these weird green shells. In the back by the checkout counter, we can display some of these cart banners. And we can display the fishing poles. Then for the final item to sell, we can display some of these multicolored seashells. All right guys, well now that we've added a bunch of items to the sea shop, I think that's gonna be it for today's video. Before we go though, let's take one last look at everything. So as you just saw, these are all the items that we're selling in our sea shop. Over in here, we have a tank full of jellyfish. Through this waterfall, we have a ton of tropical fish. And over on this side, we have some rainbow fish. Now, if we want to leave the aquarium, we just have to swim down this way and exit through our mermaid grotto. Above the sea, we have these really cool rocks with coral and grass everywhere. And there's even more mermaid rocks in front of the aquarium. Okay, well, I think that's a good place to end today's video. If you guys liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about this build in the comments. If you're a new viewer, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.